Hmm. You can, um, you can kind of see my lazy eye. You can kind of tell which one is a little bit lazy. This puppy right here. My eyelid literally droops on this eye. It's wild. And it's also the, the eye that, um, doesn't work as well. It's just interesting. New year. Same old piece of shit. <laughs> but like, for real. Um, hope that your New Year's was nice. Your holidays were nice. Uh, because you really could do with a fucking break. I think we could all <laughs> afford a break from the never-ending cascade of trauma and bullshit that the world seems, I don't know, like, determined to bestow upon us? Odd. So it has been a while since my last video, almost two weeks, and I try to do my videos in two week increments or less, and I don't like running up too close to that second week mark. Because I feel like if I wait much longer than that, that I will never come back and do more videos. This whole, you know, interaction, this uh, platform is definitely an exercise and catharsis for me. And it's not necessarily always the most comfortable or enjoyable experience, um, but things that are worthwhile usually aren't. It's a little odd because I feel rather good at the moment, almost like effervescent and that's just wild I mean of course I, I did take some sleeping pills and so I might you know have a little bit of dopamine flowing through my bitch ass veins but I was feeling all right before anyway what makes me feel good is getting things done I like getting things done and um I've gotten a fair amount done today so I feel accomplished and then, you know, it starts over the next day. It's a never-ending cycle of trying to get my nut. <laughs> and getting my nut is very fucking difficult because there's so few things that I enjoy. But I do enjoy accomplishing things, which is like irrespective of the thing that I'm doing. Even if it's something that's tedious or, you know, really boring or time-consuming or energy intensive, I usually end up on the other side feeling pretty good just having done it. And I don't know, that's, that seems to be a thing that is important to know about yourself, what things make you feel fulfilled. Um, and that's definitely one of them for me. Something else that I was thinking about, because, you know, tis the season, is uh, love languages. So... Try to stick with me on this because this is a it's a weird thing to try to explain. So I would say that my most, I guess, prevalent, um, most influential, persistent, <laughs> the, the biggest component to me as far as love languages of the five love languages is acts of service. I... I do like when people do things for me that makes my life easier. I do enjoy that. And so by doing things that make other people's lives easier, I am kind of expressing my desire to have that done for me, but also uh, kind of expressing the importance of this individual because this is the way that I show that I care about you is by doing things that just make living a little less complicated, a little less stressful, um, just overall. But also, it includes gift giving. And gift giving is a love language. Uh, that is definitely a love language. But for me, I consider the, the way that I give gifts to be an act of service rather than just giving a gift. And I wanted to explain why that is because, I don't know, 
it seems dumb to say like it's an act of service when it's obviously like me giving a gift but the the way that i give gifts is very heavily based on wanting to make a person's life easier rather than giving them something that they want i i usually like to give things to people that i know they need or they have said in passing that they needed or they uh you know espoused upon something that would be made easier uh for them if they had an item that could make it easier and so that's why i consider the gifts that i give an act of service rather than merely gift giving and i take a lot of pride in my ability to help people uh, i think that's like my favorite way to interact with others um, because i do have a hard time wanting to interact with people and i just find it really interesting that there are so many ways to interact with other people and my favorite is helping being helpful being of use and that probably stems from my upbringing a good bit because if you're not contributing you're not really worth having around and that can sound a little callous a little blunt but it definitely is the way that i was kind of raised and i decided to instead of dwelling on feeling as though i can't help people feeling as though i am an imposter because i definitely have a lot of imposter syndrome going on pretty much all the fucking time instead of focusing on what i'm not doing i try to focus on what i can do and you would be amazed at how entirely taken aback and filled with joy people become when they feel as though you are thinking of them. And it's funny because it kind of sometimes feels for me that that same courtesy isn't afforded to me to the degree that I do it to others. And I would appreciate some reciprocity, but I think I'm just too fucking thoughtful. And there's a lot of people not on the level that I'm on as far as being considerate of others and what they're going through. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it is that I have yet to meet someone that kind of reciprocates this outpouring of support and um, just thoughtfulness, general thoughtfulness that I give to other people. I've, I've yet to meet someone that makes me feel as thought of as I see other people when I interact with them. And maybe it's because you know, I'm not receptive to it because I'm a little disconnected from interactions in general, but I tend to think that I'm more thoughtful than the people closest to me. And that's just a, that's a weird thought because I'm an asshole. I'm not super, you know, saintly. I, I don't do a whole lot for other people, but I don't, I don't feel the reciprocity, to be honest. Well, shit is, shit is uh, kind of wild. And I accidentally <laughs> gave myself a Jolene hair from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What is that part? Is that six? Yeah, six stone ocean yeah so th this time of year is always either horrible or almost good 
Because, like, right now, I'm fairly content. And when I get to, like, too good, like, too, too much, like, happiness, like, overload, I kind of crash. So it's better to be content than it is to be extremely happy or experience extreme happiness because that is just a an emotion for me that does not it doesn't set well with me which is fucking funny but yeah this christmas i got pretty much just stuff that i had on my amazon list um i like body suits a whole lot i use them to exercise um stuff like that and so if y'all want to see like the gifts that i got and the the shit that i um treated myself with one of them being this fucking robe this nice ass robe let me know because i'll definitely show you guys like some of my gifts and um just talk about them but yeah i just got a lot of random shit <laughs> this is a lot of random shit and um my birthday's coming up and so i'll get some more random shit i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it now but i do have some videos that I would like to make, some ideas in the pipeline. So be ready for that. Um, yeah, I hope this year is better than last year. There's not many things that could go more fucking wrong. But, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'll talk to y'all later.